Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well. Today I'm going to be filming my top 10 drugstore products. So from makeup to deodorants to anything you can get in the drugstore. So let's get straight into this video. So because I had nothing to store anything on, I put them in this <laughs> Ted Baker Christmas bag, which is so cute. Look, it's the North Pole Dancer. Anyway, so I've got all the products in here and I'm just gonna jump in, go through them and tell you to buy them because they're amazing. I'm <laughs> just kidding. So, the first thing I've pulled out is a Soap and Glory product. This is the Sugar Crush Body Wash and oh my god, this smells insane. Christian got me the set of this for Christmas and every time I shower I have to use this. It's so citrusy. It's the energy boosting citrus and conditioning, lime oil, kiwi juice water, Omega rich in veggie oil and it's skin softening. I just love this for the smell, I'm not gonna lie. The consistency is really nice. It's like milk, but it's not as runny as milk. But um, I really, really like this and it's just amazing. I'll pop the prices of all the products on the screen and I'll link them down below where you can get them from too. But this one is from Boots. What else can we find? Oh, the next product I have is the Collection Contour Kit Highlight and Sculpt. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. I don't use the highlighter as much in this because you'll see in a second, but the bronzer on this is so, so nice. It's like, obviously it's contour, but I use it more as a bronze slash contour. Not that I contour that much. When I'm going out, this is the one I will go for. Um, it's amazing. It's not too orange. It's not too dark. You can build it up to what you want it to be. And it's not too pricey either. It's really affordable. The only problem I would say is that the mirror is like so thin. <laughs> but it's, it's a really good product. Um, and I really like it. Really affordable. Really, really big amount of product. And yeah. Next, I have the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Stay Fresh Foundation Fights Makeup Meltdown. Now this is amazing. I use this on nights out, whenever I'm going somewhere fancy, whenever I'm feeling I need a high coverage day because the coverage on this is insane. It's so, so good. Um, I've got mine in 120 vanilla. So 120 oh, vanilla, it's probably not going to focus because it's so reflective. But this is what the packaging looks like. Really basic, really nice at the same time. And I really like it. I can't remember how much it was. I'll pop the price on the screen. But I think it's definitely worth the money. Next, I have the Rimmel London Brow This Way Brow Styling Gel. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I never ever used to do my brows. And I had the powder kind of brow kit from Primark but now I've discovered gel I'm not going back this is insanely amazing I mentioned this in my vlog the other week this is in number three dark brown the packaging is just really basic if I show you the wand I always have to wipe it off the end but it's quite tiny and it's really easy to work with be careful because it is really liquidy so you've got to be really delicate with it um i normally put this through my brows if i kind of come a bit closer i put it through my brows and then i get one of those kind of spoolie brow brushes and i kind of just brush through it to give it a more of a natural kind of fade um but yeah if you want a brow routine let me know not too pricey and i really like it next I have a product from MUA again oh my goodness this is amazing Chloe Rains recommended this and I've never used highlighter before but when I discovered this I can see how addicting highlighter can be I brought this before I went on holiday and it's so beautiful like the packaging alone just look how pretty they've made that it is so gorgeous and this is the pink shimmer color you can also get it in a gold color I believe but Oh my god, this is amazing. If you're not really one to wear highlight all the time, but you like to have a little bit of a glow, that's what I tend to go for when I'm going out or if I just want a little glow one day, then I think this is amazing. Again, it's really affordable if you're just getting into makeup and it's an amazing product for the price. Next, I have some deodorant. I have some deodorant. You're probably gonna think, Amy, why are you showing us deodorant? Well, this is amazing. 
you can get this in Poundland, you can get it in Superdrug, but um, the ones in Superdrug, they have more of a selection and I think they have bigger sizes. This one is amazing. I've got the pink one over there, which is pink grapefruit. This one is lavender and patchouli. patchouli? Patchouli, am I correct? Just saying that. It's probably not going to focus, but this one is amazing. Um, I use this one a lot because it's the anti-mark one, so it won't mark on your blacks and it won't mark obviously on your whites and things like that. And it's just the soft and gentle one. Um, it is, the smell is just amazing. It smells great, it does the job, everyone needs deodorant, so why don't you just use the same one as me? We can smell good together. Next item I have is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I saw everyone raving about this on Instagram, on YouTube, and I thought, do you know what? It looks really expensive, looks really nice, but it's not, it's only a fiver, I'll give it a try really like it i want to get more colors this is in stockholm there you go and it's just this really kind of nice natural color because i've never had a matte lip cream before so i thought i'd go for this sort of color and then see how i get on and now i really want to try more this is amazing just look with this um i feel as if i have to apply about two layers before it looks on point on fleek but um, it is so, so soft and it smells amazing. It smells like candy floss almost and it's just so good for the price. Like really try them out and you can feel like you're the next Kylie Jenner. Okay, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> the eighth product that I have is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Oh my God. Okay, I could rave about this all day long. This is probably my number one favorite. I've always had problems with my lashes just going like this, straight. But I've got up my lashes today, they actually fleek up. You can have it natural, you can build it up because it's got this really cool wand um, which is kind of curved so you can literally do whatever you want with your lashes, which is amazing. I've just never found anything that does this to my lashes and I'm never going back now. Some people say that the waterproof one works better and gives you better curls, so I don't know. But it's a really good mascara. I would really recommend it. If I show you the wand. That's what it looks like. So the curved bit, I use to curl my lashes and then I let that dry and then I multiply them and make them thicker with this side and I really recommend it for drugstore. This is insane. Next, I have a concealer. Now everyone is raving about this and they have been full time, but I've been using this full time and I would happily say I would never try another one. I also like the Wake Me Up concealer, but I feel like this also does the job as well. This is the Collection Last Imperfection Concealer. You probably knew it before I said it. And this is in number two, Cool Medium. I will probably get a shade lighter next time, um, only because this is the one that I got before I went to Turkey. So obviously thinking that I was going to tan. Oop. So I got this one. I think this one ranges at about four pounds something, um, but it's just got the little applicator, which is like this. And the coverage on this is amazing my dark my dark circles don't exist anymore thanks to this bad boy and yeah i think you should get it the last product i have is something that i never thought i'd ever be talking about in a favorite slash top makeup product video i would never think that i would be talking about a lipstick as much as i do about this one um this is the kate moss um limited edition Rimmel London lipstick in 56 boho nude. Oh my god. I've got it on my lips today. It's insane. Just such a nice nude colour and I feel like this would suit anyone. They have this kind of rose gold collection is kind of all nudes. So they have like pinky nudes, brownie nudes, things like that. And I've been loving this. I never normally wear lipstick because it just annoys me. But this is so smooth on the lips. It's just such a gorgeous colour and I feel like it goes with everything. So I really, really like it. It's about £6, I believe. But I would say it's totally worth it because it's a decent lipstick. And it's turned me into a lipstick lover, which I never thought I'd be. 
so those are all the products that I have to show you let me know what you think of them down in the comments down below if any of those are your favorites or if you've had them before if you like them if you're going to try them let me know and if you also enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because I'd really appreciate it and click that subscribe button because our family is getting bigger and I love it I will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye Today's video is just going to be a life update video, so a kind of chatty video, just updating you on everything that's going on right now in my life because it's been a bit here, there and everywhere and I just like to tell you guys 